guys, thanks for tuning in. I am so excited for this video today because I am gonna be reviewing Apologia's um, health and nutrition curriculum for high school. And I can honestly say, I've been homeschooling for about 15 years now, and I can honestly say this is probably at least in my top three, if not top, top favorite curriculum I've ever used with my kids. I have a lot of reasons for that. Uh, I also wrote a review for this um, in blog post form, kind of laying out the format of how we use this, you know, kind of the difference between the notebook and the textbook. Uh, and so I'm not gonna go into that today. What I'm gonna go into in this video is I'm gonna share, I could probably share 20 things, uh, just pull out different topics that we talked about that were amazing but I'm gonna just pull out five topics that were really impactful, things that I was not expecting to cover with my kids in a health class. But after looking at the table of contents, uh, this was kind of something that I actually added as an afterthought. Um, we were already doing a science, my high schoolers were already doing a science, and so I didn't really know if they would need this as well, but I counted this as a health credit for my kids and uh, I'm so glad that I added it because I, I looked at the table of contents kind of at the last minute and I thought, no, this looks really, really good. And so I did add it at the last minute. This is the top five things that I love about Apologia's health and nutrition. So from a health and nutrition uh, curriculum, you would expect it to cover things like food and healthy eating and exercise and things like that. What I was not expecting was how much focus there was actually on emotional health, um, relational health, and things like that. And so one of the, the chapters that I loved was module four about interpersonal harmony. And I thought it was so great because it talked about um, the purpose of dating. It talked about a good family relationships. It talked about what comes into play when it comes to birth order. That was really fun and interesting. It talked about healthy friendships versus unhealthy friendships, good communication skills, setting boundaries, lots and lots of really good information. And I feel like, you know, our kids have been brought up with this constant computer in their pockets. And if they don't have one, the adults in their life, their parents have one. And so I think that it has really, um, it has really made our communication skills suffer in a lot of ways, especially for our kids. And so this was such a great chapter because it actually worked through a lot of things that I hear a lot of kids say these days, that's awkward, that's awkward, when really to you and I as the mom are looking at it like this is just a normal thing that you know you have to go introduce yourself or you have to you know go do xyz and interact with another human being and so there was a lot of really good information in this chapter just about communication and how to have a healthy relationship with other people how to solve conflict stuff like that and so i really appreciated the focus on that for that chapter um, because I think it's something that is, you know, we might tell our kids as parents, and actually this is something I saw over and over in this whole curriculum, is oh, there's so much stuff in here that I tell my kids repeatedly. And when it comes then from a textbook, I think that it has, you know, maybe even more of an impact because I do feel like sometimes to our kids as the mom, they're around us all day. And so sometimes I think that our voice becomes like white noise and they're like okay here she goes again talking about you know how to not be awkward all the time but when it comes then from a textbook i think it feels very official and you know maybe shows our kids that we're not the only ones that feel this okay this is going to be kind of two and three uh point number two and three that i loved kind of rolled up into one because it all, it kind of relates. So there was one full chapter on macronutrients and there was one full chapter on micronutrients and then there was another chapter on calories. And so I would say that the nutrients definitely was another highlight for me, but it is separate from 
the calorie portion as well. So talking about the latter first, our food, I could go on about this for hours, but the food that we eat by and large is just not good. If you look at the ingredients, half of the things you can't pronounce, it's not real food. And so, I mean, I've always been really choosing healthy things for my family and being really particular about the kinds of snacks we have and that kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, as the shopper in the house, my kids don't always see why I'm choosing what I'm choosing. And so this, those two chapters, the macro and the micronutrients, it laid it out so nice and clearly for them <clears throat> so that they can understand what your body needs to run efficiently. Our body does need fats, carbs, and proteins to run efficiently. And then it needs a number of micronutrients as well. And so uh, the macros, that was, um, that was a good one because you, know, you can look at your plate and very quickly and easily see if you're lacking in any of those. And the micronutrients, there's a lot of those that you might not even know that you need and what kinds of foods that you should choose so that your body gets those nutrients. I thought that that was a really uh, great lead up to the third reason why I loved this curriculum is because also in addition, I mean, obviously it's related, but the, um, the food choices, the food that a lot of Americans eat contributes to a lot of obesity in this country. And so, uh, and there, you know, there's a million diets and there's a million different fads that are constantly circulating the internet. And I think that, you know, we really complicate things. And, you know, I do think that it's more complicated than calories in, calories out. But by and large, that's it. <laughs> like, that is what it is. Uh, I do think that the quality of the cal calories that we consume are also, it's, you know, it's imperative that there the quality is there as well. I loved how it laid the calorie portion out so clearly. Um, what they had to do is there's actually a um, a formula to kind of figure out where your basal calorie intake should be for your height, your age, and your weight. And so they were able to figure that out and then kind of get that number of what their kind of point, uh, or kind of goal for their calories should be a day. And if they're going way under that, they're not gonna feel good. If they're going way over that, they're also not gonna feel good. And so it kind of has to stay in that in that range, right? So uh, they were able to kind of track their food for a couple days to get an idea of if they were staying in that range. And a lot of people, you know, had some, I shared about this curriculum um, a while back on Instagram and I had several people, DM me and say that the reason why they didn't like it is because it in, it includes a focus on calories and I could not disagree more because this is just healthy this is just healthy lifestyle and if we completely ignore something that keeps us healthy then we're going to have a lot of problems just because you know there might be something um that might you know that cer a certain people might have a hard time with it doesn't mean that it shouldn't be talked about. And so, yes, you could, you could, if you were the type of person that was obsessed with ca counting calories and obsessed with your weight and you're weighing yourself all the time and you're kind of passing that on to your kids, it's just like anything else. If you have a fear of X, Y, or Z, you could pass that on to your kids. So none of that's healthy. There is healthy, there is a healthy range. And I think that it is wise for us to teach our kids the value of like what is a calorie and what what are we supposed to be eat, consuming in a day as a you know 150 pound uh, boy or girl. So they, they kind of have just a good foundation now of what you know a healthy diet looks like. What I loved probably the most of this about this curriculum is that. It didn't just tell tell you why, you know, your body is, you know, your body needs rest and your body needs healthy foods and your body needs this. It talks about how God like intricately designed our bodies and just how amazing they are. I mean, there were several times when we weren't even reading anything, you know, that was 
even particularly touching or emotional, but it made me tear up because we have such an incredible designer and I just, you know, you look at the human body and you look at the way our cells regenerate and you look at the way our senses work and you look at the way, you know, our, our, our lungs fill with air and how, you know, it supplies oxygen to our brain and like how it all just works together so beautifully. And it just makes you so thankful and grateful for such a good God. And so I loved that with every chapter of this book, it talks about like how, like why God would do this, like why God would, you know, even possibly make our bodies this way. And it always goes back to the creator. And it just, it just solidified like so much goodness for his design, his creation. And I loved that so much. She talks, the author, Dr. Laura Chase, she talks a lot about, um, there's one chapter near the end just about peace and rest and how you know god during creation uh had a day of rest and how we really should emulate that and how we also need rest and the importance of not even just physical rest to go to sleep um although that she does talk about that a lot um and kind of the hormones that affect your sleep if you're having bad sleep and talks about remedies for you know improving your sleep which all of that is so good uh, but she also talks about just the peace of mind and how to uh, joyfully live a simple life without constantly, um, you know, in your mind, trying to work harder and harder and harder for things. And she talks about how um, we should work to the glory of God instead of working for things and for money and, um, you know, never being satisfied with what we have and how work is a good thing. But also we, our bodies need rest. Our bodies need peace. Our bodies need to just chill and relax and enjoy life as well. And so I just, I loved how every single chapter it is, it is always prefaced with God's creation. And like, we're not just here talking about calories. We're not just here talking about macros. We're talking about the way that God created the world and created human beings and how amazing that is and um, how it all works together. And uh, I just, I so appreciated that. It was like, honestly, some days it felt like a devotion and a science class and a health and nutrition class all rolled up into one, which I was definitely here for it. Okay, so the very last chapter in Apologies Health and Nutrition uh, course was about sexual reproduction. And I just, I absolutely loved the way that this chapter was taught. It, it clearly lays out all of the parts of the female reproductive system and the male reproductive system. Um, it goes over puberty and girls and boys, and it even goes into the different, st it's not just talking about the menstrual period it, um, or the menstrual cycle. It talks about uh, the different stages of the menstrual cycle and even, even to the point of different supplements and, you know, different feelings that, you know, a girl or a woman would have during those stages of her menstrual cycle. And so I loved that. It talks about how, um, because I think that that's not something that we talk a lot about, you know, we talk about, you know, a girl getting her period, but we don't necessarily talk about the stages in between. And so I thought that that was really, really good. And, uh, it also talks about, um, you know, the, act of marriage is how they kind of lay it out in the book and how um, it is such a gift to a husband and a wife and how the gift of life is also present too. And so it talks about the stages of, you know, early um, child de development in the womb and kind of what that looks like and the just, you know, how the baby grows in the mom. And it is just taught in the most beautiful way and uh that's the very last chapter and then at the very end of the book um the author dr laura chase she writes a blessing out for the kids and so it's kind of just 
um, a synopsis of everything that we'd learned. Um, she talks about some, you know, really heartbreaking and terrible things that had happened to her in life and how even through all of that, God was still there beside her, walking her through all of it. And, um, how that, you know, as these kids are growing older and going to be leaving the home soon, like no matter what happens to them, God is going to be by their side for them as well. And, um, just, uh, such a beautiful blessing and prayer that she wrote over these kids. And so, I just, I cannot say enough good things about this curriculum. I highly recommend it. Um, go me read my uh, written review as well. It's a little bit different than this dialogue here. Uh, you can find the link to that in the description below, or you can just go straight to the curriculum from the description below. Uh, definitely hanging on to this one for my youngest. Uh, I wish I would have had it for my oldest, but um there's always things that we can, that I can pull from and discuss with him even still. So anyway, highly recommend, uh, this is for high school age. So if you need a health credit or a science credit, uh, it would work for either one. So definitely recommend, um, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.